everyone. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some birthing positions and some thoughts I have on why deep squatting may not be the most ideal um, position for every person who's going through labor and delivery. And there's a lot of reasons for this. And the first one being that in Western culture, I think that we have pretty poor squat form, especially a deep squat. Um, and there's lots of reasons for this, but essentially the biggest reason is because we don't use a deep squat functionally. We don't eliminate here, we don't cook, clean, socialize in a deep squat. And so then when we go to try to use it, let's say during labor and delivery, we may not have the optimal joint and tissue mobility to comfortably get into that position. And so there can be a lot of compensations because of that. And here's one that I'd like to talk about, and this is a big one. So um, here's my pelvis. There is my pelvic floor, the pelvic bones, pubic bone, back here, spine and tailbone. Um, just to orient you a little bit to this pelvis. But one of the things I see when women and men actually are coming into a deep squat is a little bit of what's called a butt tuck. And that butt tuck is probably coming from decreased spine, a side joint, hip mobility, maybe even actually ankle mobility. Um, but what happens during that, so if this is my pubic bone and this is my sacrum and my tailbone, when we come into a butt tuck, that tailbone and pubic bone actually physically come closer together. So what we do in that butt tuck position is that we effectively open the pelvic inlet but we close down the space in that pelvic outlet. So this here would be the pelvic inlet and this here would be the pelvic outlet. So early on in the stages of labor, it might be really useful to use a squat position um, to open that pelvic inlet as baby is working um, his or her way down. The second thing that I'd like to talk about is that in a typical squat that I see, um, we tend to turn our feet out and sort of rotate our hips out or widen our knees a little bit too. And that just makes a squat a little more comfortable. But when we do that, so if you imagine that this is an actual ball and socket joint of your hip. So when we take that and we turn out our feet and we externally rotate our pelvis, again, that actually compresses the SI joint space and the pelvic um, outlet. And so we want to make sure we free up, especially during delivery, um, any available space we have here. The other point I will make is briefly when we come into that butt tuck at the end of that deep squat, that actually changes the angle of orientation of the pelvic outlet. And so this is kind of why a lot of times um, people in the birthy world might advise against lithotomy position or giving birth on your back because we're having to follow that angle and essentially get baby up, out, uphill against gravity. When we have a better and more improved squat, what actually happens is that, and that changes that angle and gravity can help facilitate that. So um, a couple of things there to consider why squatting may not be the best position for every person who is going through birth. And look for a blog post that I have coming up with a lot more details. Thanks.